Hey guys, my name is Brandon, and I'm fired up to be able to continue our 21 days of prayer and fasting with you. Talking about one of my favorite topics is having our identity in Jesus. One of my favorite scriptures is in Romans chapter 12, and it reads like this. So here's what I want you to do. God helping you take your everyday ordinary life, you're sleeping, you're eating, you're going to work, you're walking around life, and place it before God as an offering. Embracing what God has done for you is the best thing you can do for Him. Don't become so well adjusted to your culture that you fit into it without even thinking, but instead fix your attention to God and you'll be changed from the inside out. When I began thinking about my journey of finding my identity in Jesus, I remember at a young age, I did everything I could to try to just be normal. I mean, looking back on life, I was driven by being normal. I was trying to fit in with everybody, fit in with my football team. I just, I just want to find friends. Whatever it takes, I'm going to fit in. In fact, if you were to call me different, I would call it an insult. I wanted to be normal like everyone else so bad that I ended up being exactly what I strive to be. And that is normal and hurting like everyone else. Finding myself stressed out, depressed, living with anxiety, no joy in my life, broken relationships. And I realized real quick that normal is not working. So I decided I got to do something different. I got to change my identity. And I decided to find my identity in Jesus. And I realized to get different, I needed to be and I needed to live different. So I made a decision that I'm going to give everything I am to Jesus. He is going to be the center of my life in a new identity. Because being normal is fitting into what culture says, but being different is fitting in to what God and the God of the Bible says. Let me tell you, friends, it was the best decision that I've ever made in my life. It was that decision to make Jesus the center of my world that is what brought me godly relationships in my life and friendships. It's because of that decision I met my amazing wife and have my amazing family. It was that decision that brought purpose in my life. That in fact, it led me to this very moment today to be able to hang out with all of you. Can I tell you friends, your identity and living for Jesus is not about fitting into the world, but it's about standing out and it's about being different. And I learned a couple of things about my identity in Jesus and I wanna share them with you today. Number one is that you gotta learn, you gotta think different. There's things of this world that feel normal and then there's things that are, that are godly. Like things that are normal is Five Guys Burgers. Things that are godly is Whataburger. Come on somebody, all right? Normal is Android Green Bubble. Godly is Apple Blue Bubble. I mean, wherever you want to make it fit in your world, I knew this, that I had to think different. The world says, take care of you. The Bible says, the last shall be first and to serve other people. The world says that, hey, if somebody messes with you, then you get them back. You throw down. The world says no, love and to serve. I'll never forget him being in the streets one time. I was ministering to a guy and he just walked up to me. Yo, he said, you the preacher, man? I'm like, yeah, I'm him. He goes, you believe in the Bible? I'm like, yeah. He said, well, do you believe that scripture says if I hit you, you gonna turn the other cheek and run? I said, no, bro, go for it. I ain't read that far in the Bible yet. <laughs> it's, a, it's a true story. We didn't throw down. We didn't, we didn't do anything like that. But, but I want to show you the example of the world thinks one way, but God says, you know, love people right where they are. I had, had to change the way that I think. And then the Bible teaches when I take on my identity with Jesus, I got to choose to live different. Because I tell you friends, everyone was born an original, but most people die a copy. I have to learn to be who God has called me to be. Can I tell you right now, you're not a mistake. You're exactly who God created to be, created you to be. As in Jeremiah says, he knew you before you were in your mother's womb. You got a purpose, you got a future, and you got a hope. You're meant here for a reason, but you will find that purpose when you have your identity in Jesus. My identity is Jesus is found when people around me can see that, man, Brandon is living different and he's thinking different. They look around and say, hey, there's something different about that guy. And I can tell them it's all about Jesus. And in the scripture that we just read, it says, embrace what God has done for you is the best thing that you can do for him. I'm gonna ask you this. Do you remember what it was like when you first met Jesus? Do you remember what it was like, how you worshiped him? How you prayed, how you went to church? Can I tell you, sometimes we can get so busy till we lose our identity in Christ 
that we need to get back to our first love in the first moment that we met Jesus. And that's my prayer for you during 21 days of prayer and fasting, is that I pray you get reminded that to that very first moment that you spent time with the Lord, that God takes that passion and just increases it. And you be renewed every day to find your identity in Jesus. Let me pray for you. Father, I thank you so much for all my friends and family that are watching here today. God, I don't know where they are in their life and with their story, but you know every detail of where they are. Maybe they've gotten off track a little bit and they need to bring their life back in center with you, Jesus. Wherever it is, they need to think different. Wherever it is, they need to live different. Say no to things that they know that they need to say no to and yes to the things of God. Jesus, give them the strength, give them the boldness to make the best decision for themselves. And God, in advance, we give you the honor. We give you the glory for it. In Jesus' name. We love you guys so much. Pray you have an incredible rest of the day.